These have been around for a while. It's basically a emulated light switch, which actually has light sources built in that's run from batteries. And these have been about for a while, but I've never really taken one to bits. So let's do that right now. Let's remedy that situation. So it comes with uh, two Velcro pads for sticking it onto walls, which is probably a terrible idea. Uh, and it takes, oh, it's got magnets as well. Oh. And it takes AAA cells. It's got one, two, three positions in there, sort of blank positions. So let's load it up with cells. So, one, two, and three. Okay, so I'm not sure the best application for this, because if you think of it, if you put this in the wall at the position of a light switch, it would be quite glary um, when you walked into the room, you know, it would be quite a bright source of light. But I suppose if you mounted it under, uh, a shelf or something and then just flick the switch as an on-off switch, then that would be quite useful as a light source. I wonder what current it draws. Let's uh, check that. I'll put this to the 10 amp range. And I'll just put the probe into the 10 amp position and we'll interrupt one of the batteries to actually connect into this. So that's 10 amps. It's in DC mode. Let's see how visible that is. That's well, that's more visible there. Okie dokie. So let's turn this on, and then I shall hike that out and put the meter in series. And this will give a rough indication. It won't be a perfect indication, but it's showing about, say, let's say 300 milliamps. Okay. So roughly 150 milliamps per cob array. And I'm guessing, well, how many chips are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. About sixteen cob chips on either side. So that current's going to be ten milliamps. Is that right? Ten milliamps per cob chip. That sounds reasonable enough. Okay, let's open it. I'll just uh, pull the lead out the meter so I remember not to put it not to use it before I change it back from the amp setting. So, the reason I do that, I always mention this, because it's worth mentioning, uh, if you leave your meter set to amps, it's basically a dead short circuit, because the ideal amp meter is a dead short circuit. So, if you accidentally leave it with the probes in the amp setting, then whatever you connect it to, you'll short it out the next time. And if you're measuring current, that's fine, but if you're not measuring current, if you're measuring voltage, that's kind of bad news. So, which are these? Uh, Screw tips is going to work. This one's going to work. So let's make guesses. Are, is there going to be a resistor or is it going to be driving the LED cobs directly and relying on circuit, the internal impedance of the cells and the wiring? I would guess maybe a resistor and the switch. I'm guessing will that be a standard switch or will it just be a springy metal contact? Only one way to find out. Let's pop the lid. Now, is this going to actually part with just the corner screws? Yes, it is. Does this unclip, I take it? Is this going to unclip? No, I, I get the feeling that might be held in by these other screws. Okay. Out they come too. This is where it just springs apart. Right. So it is a standard sliding switch. It's a standard sliding switch. I don't see a resistor. Oh, I do see a resistor. I'm talking crap. There is a resistor there. And the colour code in that resistor is green, black, gold, which is five one, uh, five zero, and a divider of 0.1. So a uh, multiplier of 0.1. So that's actually five ohms. Uh, five, yeah, five ohms. Okay, I'm just going to check that in case, because uh, the, the colour code on it isn't that clear. So let's uh, turn this to the resistance setting. Five ohms is a fairly low resistance to actually read. Okay, let's see if I can test that. 
Yes, it is. It's five ohms. Okay. So that's fundamentally it. Uh, the cobs are wired in parallel. They're kind of stuck it. They're riveted in, and they're fairly standard aluminium bat cobs with the LEDs placed directly onto a circuit board layer in the front, a, a, a laminate of fiberglass. Um, so two parallel cobs, the 5-ohm resistor, which is quite good to see that resistor in use, and then the sort of improvised switch assembly, uh, which basically involves this rocker switch just toggling this actual switch backwards and forwards. So, you know, it's not actually too bad. For what it is, it seems quite functional as a light, and the current isn't excessive for the LEDs, so that's not a bad little design at all.